Well, you know, it's funny you mentioned that because, of course, I did uh, have my annual sit down with uh, Malone. Uh, he is not here uh, at the uh, conference, um, but we were able to speak, uh, as we did last year as well, remotely um, in an interview that we uh, did the other day. Uh, and we did talk about the market's love of growth, guys. Now, we did it in the context of a conversation that began about how do you go about valuing all the direct-to-consumer platforms that are out there, in particular Netflix, and will the market ultimately move perhaps from submetrics to actual profitability? Take a listen. We talk about the results from Netflix or uh, any number of the other companies, Viacom even. We look at the sub-numbers. That's all we look at right now. We're not really looking at, to your point, profitability. I don't know when that's going to start to change. I mean, with Netflix, it's more so. But um, to your point, when do we sort of make that pivot or when do investors make that pivot and say, well, you know what, the overall number may not be nearly as important as to what the margin looks like and, to your point, the stickiness and the value of that customer over time. Every investor has a different time horizon, a different perspective. To me, I've always been a long-term investor, and so I'm much more interested in, in building this business brick by brick, making it solid and sticky, and how can you grow it, and how can you grow pricing power, and how can you defend the franchises that you're building. It's that kind of a, that kind of a thing. Uh, it's too early. I, I really think it's yeah. too early to assess. The market is obviously putting huge market valuations on Netflix. And, and frankly, Netflix relative to Disney. Uh, and, you know, I mean, hell, there's a car company that I guess is just going public that has $130 billion <laughs> market cap and hasn't, hasn't built a car yet. That's so true. there's Rivian. no question yeah. that <laughs> Rivian. I mean, there's no question that the, the equity markets right now are so interested in growth above all other criteria, and this is like the the bubble in the late '90s uh, up to, through 2000. It's all about growth. This is a land rush. Yep, land rush. Jim, that's what uh, you hear from Malone, who's seen his share of uh, land rushes and obviously benefited from a few of them as well along the way. It is so refreshing to hear someone who thinks long term but recognizes you have to play some bets. It's almost as if what he's thinking is, look, these are all venture capital companies that have come public. Some of them are not going to work out. Some of them are, but you've got to play some bets. This is a man who does not just sit there and say, you know what, this is ridiculous. No, he gets his hands dirty. How come he gets his hands dirty and we have so many rich, big hedge fund guys come on and say, oh, it's just ridiculous, pie in the sky. Why doesn't he say pie in the sky and joke? Why does he still play? Why does he come to the office?